Hey guys, what's going on? It's Prodigion here, and today I'm doing another Space Engineers videos. I've actually taken a few days off, uh, well, kind of unintentionally because I've been playing a ton of Starbound. I haven't been recording it because, I don't know, like, a, a ton of other people are doing it. I don't really want to be just another guy doing that, so I'm going to be doing Space Engineers a bit more now. And I've just been, like I said, addicted to Starbound, so... Now, you guys have seen this before, you guys have seen this little, uh shield disruption round of mine and you guys saw that I was using gravity shields over here in a previous episode. Now this idea I'm using isn't mine or this concept isn't mine though it's kind of being modified for that purpose. The other day the developers uh, uploaded a screenshot of turrets being created using motors and it's something like this where it has one down here for the rotational axis of the X and then you have the Y here as well. Now these two aren't powered at all but this uh, device here with the uh, well I guess it would normally be covered in rockets and stuff would be powered and have a gyro so it can freely turn around and forcing those motors to rotate the way it wants to. Uh, but this one here I've actually covered the back of it with gravity generators and I'm not saying like I said this is my this isn't my idea sorry. Sorry I'm saying that this isn't my idea but um, I decided to modify this and see how well it works with Oh, sorry, works against my uh, my rounds here. Now, somebody did suggest that uh, not pointing the aggregate generators directly on, which is what I did in the last test, which kind of made it bounce backwards. So I'm going to try using this and aiming it at, or aiming it around the area of where this is coming in, and to see whether or not it can actually push it away or redirect it. So uh, I'm going to go over here, and hopefully this gives me enough time to go back there, get in the seat, and use it so that's uh I'm gonna put a few on I'm probably only gonna put about five on this thing that's just to see what I can get to happen so let's go seven here and this has got symmetry on so we'll go one two three four and let's hope I can get back there in time to get inside my little seat and then see whether or not we can redirect this thing so slow down Oh, it's actually coming in really, really fast. Go away! <laughs> go away! That way, go down. Down, 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 down. Or slow down, either one. Don't crash into me! No! Oh, it wasn't strong enough. And pieces went through. I think the rock went through as well. Damn, okay, so that wasn't strong enough uh, with just four way. I tried aiming it down. It did seem to push it more downwards. Though it didn't exactly stop it, so... What do we have here? Yeah, a fair amount of damage. Uh, like usual, it went through one whole wall completely. I think the landing gear broke as well. I just want to do this quick test just because uh, it merges two things together. One, which was the idea of uh, having the gravity generators or gravity shield on an angle. And the second was a turret which the developers had created early, uh, like the other day. So, uh, that, that wasn't exactly a great idea, but as you guys can see, it can be effective against lighter things. Maybe not things that have five generators pushing it uh, along, but, uh, oh yeah, I put lights on it as well, just for visual aesthetics, I guess. Uh, I guess, like I said, I only wanted to make the short video just really quickly, just to show you guys this. If anyone didn't actually see this turret, designed the uh, other day. Actually, I might as well just show it off to you guys real quickly. Let me unequip everything in my hand here. Like I said, it's pretty basic how it works. So I'm actually... Like, I'm surprised I never thought of using motors in this way. But uh, as you guys can see, you can go up and down like normal, and you can also turn around. So you can have it in any angle you want, which is really, really cool. So uh, great for bigger ships, I guess. If you have somebody you want to uh, pilot. Like I said, you can have guns and stuff on it. But I just thought having gravity generators would be pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure you can see the gravity gens are working. I'm pretty sure they're not locked into a certain angle though. That would be kind of, uh, kind of bad. Nah, no, it seems like they aren't. That's just, yeah, no, I'm not gonna <laughs> mess around with too much. I just wanna make this, like I said, this really quick video. Because I haven't actually made much in this game lately. The past few days, like I said, I've been distracted with uh, Starbound and a few other things going on at home with Christmas coming up and family stuff and my money getting low, which uh, is a bit of a problem, but I'm still surviving for now and I'm still making videos for you guys, so that will only stop when I 
either get kicked out of the house because I ran out of money or I don't know, something else on those lines. AdSense just isn't giving me enough money uh, as it is right now. As you guys know, there are ads on my videos and I know of quite a few people use ad blocker and stuff like that which disables the ads and that in turn disables revenue. Which, you know, I don't, I don't mind people using that because I, I myself use it on other sites as well. I don't use it on YouTube because I know that's how some people make money so if they have an ad up, so be it. I'll just watch the ad. That's pretty much it. I didn't realize that has one little longer bit. Yeah, um, yeah, I just wanted to say that little AdSense thing. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, I, I have ads on my videos because, well, I only really turned them on after I lost my job the other month to see whether or not I could actually uh, make some money off this stuff, just to see if I could actually survive, but it hasn't exactly uh, worked out. If anyone's curious as to how much I'm probably getting a month, it's probably like $18 or something. Uh, because, like I said, not people, not many people see the ads, or not that many people see my channel, so... I don't know, maybe when my channel gets bigger, there might be a little, a little bit more of an income. I don't think I'll be able to survive off uh, YouTube. It's definitely not until uh, you're a lot bigger. Uh, definitely until, sorry, I'm a lot bigger, but... Anyways, that's enough of my rambling. Uh, I'll probably edit that out, I, I'm not too sure. I've just been a little bit all over the place lately, because... Like I said, my money's actually starting to get a bit low now, and I still haven't been able to find a job. But anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching this little quick video showing up for Tarot and seeing whether or not I could actually get that to go away, which uh, kind of failed. I guess, like I said, more generators might work, but that's up to you guys to experiment with. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you